Uh, my name is Matt Corba and I am the creative director at The Odd Gentleman. Tracy was my professor when I was at USC um, and she was also my mentor and she was my thesis advisor on my um, student thesis project which was The Misadventures of P.B. Winterbottom. So one of my favorite memories of Tracy uh, when I was at school is uh, it was two weeks before the IGF deadline and I wanted to submit my thesis project but it, it wasn't quite ready yet um, and so we met at this place called Eat Street Cafe, which is no longer at USC anymore, but we had grilled cheese sandwiches. And we basically talked through a strategy of like, well, why don't we put all the art, the stuff that had the art in it and the story stuff up front in the demo, and then after that we would do all the stuff that we just didn't have time to put the art in, but we would show off more of the mechanics. And we sort of decided during that luncheon to submit to the IGF over those grilled cheese sandwiches, and that's why I'm here today. Um, I think, there's a lot of reasons why Tracy is an important figure in the game industry. Um, you know, she was one, at the forefront of, of pushing uh, game gaming and academics, um, and the, her whole strategy um, and working in, you know, looking at games from an emotional uh, lens, um, and all the stuff that that she's done. That's you know, fairly commonplace, especially for the people that have gone through the program. Uh, it's just phenomenal. So Tra Tracy's uh, great to have play test your games because she's always pushing you. She really helped uh, when I was working on Winterbottom to make me think of things outside of the box and ways that I wasn't thinking. She would just ask questions and have me uh, I explore what that could mean. And she really helped sort of like mentor and guide how I think about games at our company, how we uh, structure our play test, how, how we're big on paper prototyping, building games that can be played outside the digital world first to make sure if they're fun, like she's been uh, monumental in, in helping us craft the culture here uh, and our approach to making games. I think people should watch Tracy because she's always pushing boundaries. She has a very play-centric uh, approach to everything and she, she can take a subject matter that you might never think of to make a game out of and make it the most compelling thing ever. Tracy, I wouldn't be here without you, so I just wanted to thank you for all the guidance that you've given me over the years, and good luck tonight.